chopping onions makes you want to cry, right? Well, not if you do it right. Hi, I'm Deb, and welcome to DK College. Here, I cover the how-tos of cooking, the basic skills, information, and know-how to get from market to meal. And if you're new to the kitchen, don't worry, because I'll walk you through it step by step. Today, I'll show you the no more tears method to slicing and dicing onions. Come on in, because class is about to start. You can scour the internet for ways to chop onions without tears. And there's all kinds of ideas out there. One is that you can light a candle. And I found it smells good, but it didn't really help. Another idea was to put a piece of bread in my mouth and it tasted good, but it didn't work either. What I found works for me is a really sharp knife and a really cold onion. Now, I like to put my onion in the fridge the night before, but if I forget, I have a solution for that too. I simply put together a bowl of ice water and plunge my onion in and let it take a little swim for five to 10 minutes. And then I pull it out and I just proceed and chop away and it really helps. Now, let's talk about the onion itself. As it's growing in the ground, there's the stem end and then the root end. The root end is the one that looks like it's got little hairs coming out the top. And it's important to pay attention to this one because underneath the hair is the area that packs the punch and we want to stay away from that. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to split this onion in half lengthwise, top to bottom. And you can see here right underneath that hairy spot, that dark area. And if you kind of imagine a triangle like this, that's where the bad juju lies right in here. Um, there are chemicals in there. I really can't remember what they're called, but they're bad news. They attack the membranes in your eyes and that's what causes you to cry. So the best way to avoid that is to avoid that area. Now, if you were watching chefs on TV, what they'll do is start chopping from the stem end and work their way closer to the the root and then stop about here to avoid that hot spot. Now you can do that, but to me, I think it's much easier just to chop it off to begin with. Get rid of it, it's gone. I don't have to worry about it. It's out of my life. And while I'm at it, I might as well chop off that stem end too. And then I'm gonna remove the first layer, which is called the paper, you can see why. And I like to take at least the first wet layer too, because sometimes it has little areas in it that are tough. There's a little bit of membrane there. And then, got a little bit of the root. There I have a beautiful half onion. This is ready to slice, dice, however I want to prepare it without tears. It's that simple. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see on DK College. I'll see you at our next session, but for now, class is dismissed.